Lenny? Hey, Alpha. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. Remember, if you want to back down, you just say the word. Hell. Keep it loose. Mm. Much good at this. Mm. Let's see what you got. Damn it to hell. All you. Yeah, you savor it while it lasts. I think I'll call it a day now. That was fun. Right. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> what did you say to me? Well, I... I didn't do it. I heard that. I oh, heard what, you crazy fool? I you busy, Arthur? Everything you said. Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up 
north. On the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? <sighs> Big place, right? Big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. It's a large house. This could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. these trees I can't get a proper look at the place well hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us too coast seems clear so far yeah so far hey hey stay with me Arthur okay stick close now hey keep it down I hear voices Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Got your call for new, don't you? Copy here, and I'll be munching doodle from the horse. Maybe you's hard to pick this time once, Mal. Creepers, man, don't score notions in the Biffy Fleming head. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can holly gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Hop? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump over here.
What the hickory happened here? We got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey, I keep. Uh, what the hickory? Now. Let's take them out quick. The rest will be on their way. Tiger, you're felt. Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Just a scratch. Come on now. Here. Here. 
Let's get I'm good, girl. Yeah.
Mr. Morgan, I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No, wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Oh, my. They don't seem to be fans of modern technology. On the other hand... kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. Oh, what a way to... Literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows. You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well... I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. or something. Now, that's supposed to upset me? Why don't you just shut up now? I ought to shoot you dead now. Just calm down. If that's what you want.
Causing any more trouble. All right, don't get your bonnet in a twist, just passing through. Just leave us alone. We're done. There ain't nothing for you here. All right, girl. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want mm -hmm. rescuing again, dear? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, a plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out? Here, like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now. How can I? And like I told you. I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. The bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? Few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. 
Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Easy! They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah! Keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new shit. Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs>
pie is it? Every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get that. But here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honor. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. <laughs> <laughs>